Do you believe there's um, a point in our history, our collective history, where we wake up and that is just everyone's taking the red pill, we know it, and we do have a heaven on earth? Yes. When is that if, happening? If it's going to happen, if, yes. because you see, that we've been here before. <laughs> this is not the first civilization to come to mastery of, of the environment and stuff. I mean, there were massive civilizations that were here that died out 10,000 years ago. Uh, and so, you know, it's like, it's turning out that there are cycles here and we're ending a cycle. The question is, will we make the jump or will we not make the jump? And the answer is, I don't know. It could be 50-50 as far as I know. Well, let's put out but the positive we're, we're belief that we will. I, I firmly believe it because I already know so many people that have moved out of the out of the uh, the belief system, taken that red pill, gone out of this belief system, and live in a very healthy, wonderful environment in the midst of a world falling apart. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, that's your choice. You can be in the world falling apart, or what we're really being asked to do is join another world that is building and is healthy and in harmony, and that's a choice. And, and you ask, when's that choice? I say, well, it's not very far off in the future because extinction is looming not 100 years from now. <laughs> Within 100 years, extinction is a likely possibility. So it, changes are going to occur within the next few years. Right now is the time of change, and that's why it's so important for people to become knowledgeable. Why? Simple point. Knowledge is power. The, when everybody says, yeah, I've heard that, and I said, well, let's make it more pointed and more direct. A lack of knowledge is a lack of power. We have been deprived of fundamental knowledge of how humans uh, work and, and their mechanisms, and I say, well, why is that important? Because if you don't have the knowledge of how your biology works, then you are powerless in controlling your biology, and this is why there's a new science and a new biology, and therefore a new evolution in front What's of us. What's even worse than no knowledge is false, wrong knowledge, which we... Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, because it's not just no knowledge, but it's knowledge that in this case is nocebo and right. can kill you. And right. I go, yep, that's what we're facing right now. There's a massive audience of people looking for what? New answers, new ways of life. So